Okay, let's calculate the efficiency for the Carnot cycle now. So we'll start by looking at what efficiency is. So efficiency is essentially the energy we get out of a process divided by the energy we pay for. So it's a ratio of how much energy we get out divided by how much energy we put in. Now for the engines that we'll be looking at, the energy we get out, we get out in the form of work. So the energy we get out is the absolute value of the work and the energy we pay for, well that's the heat that we transfer into the system. So that's the absolute value of QH. Now ideally, we'd like to have all the heat that we put in, all the QH convert, converted into work coming out. So this is known as a perfect engine. So you can see this little schematic here showing a perfect engine where all the heat going in is converted to work going out. But spoiler alert, this is actually impossible. But we'll look into that in later lessons. Okay, but let's now use this equation to calculate the efficiency of the Carnot cycle. So for the Carnot cycle, we showed that the absolute value of the work was equal to the absolute value of the heat added, QH, minus the absolute value of the heat lost, which was QL. And so we can substitute that into our equation for efficiency. So the efficiency is equal to the absolute value of QH minus the absolute value of QL divided by the absolute value of QH. So then just doing some algebra, dividing by QH, we know QH divided by QH is one. So we can simplify this down to the efficiency is equal to one minus the absolute value of QL divided by the absolute value of QH. Now we can actually get this into terms of the temperature of that hot reservoir and the colder reservoir because we looked at entropy and came up with an expression that the absolute value of QH divided by TH was equal to the absolute value of QL divided by TL. So just rearranging this expression, we can write that the absolute value of QL over the absolute value of QH is equal to TL over TH. Now that thing is always going to be less than one because TL, the temperature of the, the colder bath, the colder reservoir is always colder than the temperature of the hot reservoir. So what we can do now with our efficiency equation is just substitute that in. So we end up with the efficiency for a Carnot cycle is equal to one minus TL on TH.